Okay, so I'm trying to get this camera to work. It's a tracking camera. Um, so today's video, or this video right here in particular, is going to be, I guess, just me being single. It's a single video. Like, you know, all these 20-somethings, 30-somethings, and 40-somethings talking about being single. I have nothing against it. I have nothing against any of those videos. I'm just going to add my hat into the ring. When it comes to singleness, doing those things, being a part of that scene, that culture, I guess, um, I've kind of seen different things, kind of been a part of it, but not like, I don't know, not, not too overly involved, though, like where I'm like going out and dating myself too much. I have gone on dates, but it was like years ago, like over five, six, seven years ago. And my experience with dating has been very like sparse, hit or miss. I mean, after I got out of my one, only had one long-term relationship. After I was out of that one long-term relationship, and it was like a year after that, it wasn't like, just a few months or a week. It was like a whole year after that relationship. I was talking to women. It was difficult. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to act. I didn't know. Like Again, I'm a 33-year-old man. And this was like back when I was probably in my early 20s. I didn't know what to say. didn't know what to do. Um... The only reason I even was in that first relationship was I met a girl on MySpace and, you know, she was making moves on me. Like, I made, like, the first initial move telling her I was interested in her. But eventually, it was like when we were in person, she was the one making the moves on me first. So, that's basically my experience with women and it was only like a two, like roughly around a two year relationship. One solid two year relationship and then like hit or miss like dating here and there throughout the rest of my 20s and now in my 30s. Haven't dated much recently. Haven't even cared nor wanted to go on dates. I think that the dating scene is getting pretty chaotic. It's getting pretty... Uh, I don't know. It just feels like it's empty. A lot of it's empty. It's void. It's vapid. Things that are going on, it's more casual. Most of it is casual. It's either situationships, like misconnections, miscommunications, and stuff like that. People like... Wanting to go out on dates, it not happening, things just getting thrown out of whack. I'm just see, hearing and seeing so many different things from different perspectives. Like you're on TikTok, you're on all these different social media platforms. You're seeing what people are going through firsthand. Like it's almost like you feel for them like you're almost going through it yourself, but you're not experiencing that. And it sucks because there are people that are cheating on each other. They're going out there. They're putting their, some people are putting their best foot forward and they're just getting their heart stomped on or they're getting like screwed up. And like there's some good men and good women, I think across the board. And it sucks to see that. Like, and I feel for them. I feel for the men, especially because I think a lot of men. I really want to put their best foot forward for a lot of women. Because some men will like look at women and be like, I want to do better for her. I want to make her life better. I want to do things. But that might be like a defeatist attitude sometimes. Like you're doing all these things just to make her feel better. You want to make her life better. Like when you're putting too much of your effort just in her camp or just her making her life better 
if her life is already like in shambles or if she's already kind of a chaotic kind of person, I don't know if you're making that person any better or if they haven't seen the light. Like they're not wanting to be better people. Um, I feel like I'm somebody that treads water when it comes to being even in relationships like I've never been the best man in relationships even when I'm dating and stuff I'm probably just going with the flow a lot of the times or I want to go with the flow I don't want to put too much pressure on the woman and try to make it seem like I'm putting all my eggs in one basket but if you're wanting to put your best foot forward you're trying to be like okay I want to make your life better i want to excite you i want to do things for you right like in a relationship or if you're even just dating in general you want to like i'll take you to movies i'll take you out to dinner i'll do things right like you're an exciting person and you can have conversations maybe it's philosophical religious Maybe political, but I'm somebody that doesn't care about politics. But, you know, there could be deep conversations you want to have with people. But it seems like a lot of men and women, or maybe just women, I don't know. I've heard, like, a lot of different horror stories about women not having a lot of intellectual prowess. Like, they're not... They don't really want to get in deep conversations. They don't want to talk a lot. Or they just have very superficial things going on in their life where it's just like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts and Netflix and is that the extent of their personality like that's all they want to do or I'm not saying that's all of it you feel like if you're in a position like that you're a man and if you're like somebody that's like a hunter or a fisher like I'm a country man myself. I'm a country boy. More conservative. I'm a biblical believer. I have my core values in the Bible. Um, Jehovah's Witness per se. Because I'm the one that wants to come out here and try to do things a certain way. People might view me. Look at me a certain way. And even when I mention conservatism. When I mention certain looks on life. My... I'm just going to get either shot down, a woman's going to be disinterested, or whatever. Especially if they're on the liberal side, or more on the liberal side. Like, I know that might seem weird to like. But there are people that you might have some camaraderie, you might have some chemistry with. Even on opposite ends of the spectrum. Which does make things a little awkward sometimes. Because you might have chemistry with people on opposite ends of the spectrum. And it's like... How do you go about that? Like, are their views going to change if you're in their life? Or are your views going to change because you're in their life? Because I feel like the Bible does point out certain things about being unevenly yoked with certain people out there. Like, there's the world's perspective on things. And then there's, like, more Christian, conservative kind of perspectives on things. Like, you can be a part of the world. Or you can be opposed to the world or like having views outside of it and like you're trying to do your best to kind of toe the line but you don't want to cave you don't want to bend the knee you don't want to just be a part of the system you don't want to go with the status quo so i'm going on a rant i've been going on a tangent i don't want to make this video too long either this person right here I don't know who this is. Every girl needs this type of guy. I could have probably posted this video up. Because I don't know if anybody's going to want to hear me talking. You know? But I just went on a rant there for a little bit. And so I'm sorry. Um, we're going to listen to this real quick. And then we're just going to probably end the video after this. But it does suck. Dating scene is crazy. Don't give up though. Don't give up hope. You know, I'm more on the conservative side. Um, I'm probably going to be going more conservative with my... The people I choose in my life or people that 
have certain things that align with me or want to align, like, even if there are liberal, like doesn't say that they couldn't align with you or they couldn't be in alignment with you. It's just maybe they don't understand, you know, I'm not saying just try to convert people and stuff like that because some people just don't like that. But you never know. You never know. Being around the right people might change your perspective entirely on life and how it works. So I'll play this video and I'll see what you say. Every woman needs to understand that a guy that is rare to find is a guy that is very patient with you. You know what I mean? If he's very patient and he's, he's you know what I mean, he's willing to take his time with you. He's willing to, you know what I mean, be gentle with you. He's willing not to rush things. He's willing to take a step back to analyze and observe and pay attention to you. He loves you the most. A guy that is willing to be patient, a guy that is willing to be gentle, a guy that is willing to, you know what I mean, follow your lead and let you, you know what I mean, breathe and let you, you know what I mean, like feel comfortable, is a guy that loves you the most. A guy that is patient, you know what I mean, a guy that works with you, I promise you he loves you the most. Because, you know what I mean, he's analyzing everything. He's paying attention to detail, you know what I mean, he's paying attention to things that you may not even think that he's paying attention to. You know what I mean? So a guy that is patient with you, a guy that is willing to show you that he cares about you and is willing not to rush things and willing not to, to do all the ball with certain things, he loves you, I swear to God. You know what I mean? So cherish that guy, appreciate that guy. You know what I mean? Don't take that guy for granted because that guy don't come around a lot. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of 10, these men don't care because they already feel like these hoes ain't shit. So if a guy that is patient with you, a guy that is gentle with you, and a guy that takes his time with you, that guy loves you, I promise, I swear to God. Every woman needs to. So, I mean, I think that kind of puts it into perspective. His perspective and his, you know, what he was saying right there. Um, I don't think I need to add anything more to it because I just went on a whole rant there. So if you've been here this long, I hope that you feel like you can subscribe or like or do things that get the video in the algorithm. If you didn't watch it, you're not you're not going to see it anyway, so it won't matter. But anyway, I thank you, and uh, I'll probably see you in a future video.